Hey guys, Cody with Double C Custom Leather here. Um, coming to you guys today with a uh, with another video. Um, I guess this could probably go in the Leatherwork Pro Tips uh, category um, of quick tips, but um, I just did one of those, so I don't want to put it in there. Um, I'm gonna basically talk today a little bit about organization, um, something you can do if you're a holster or sheath maker um, or any kind of leather worker for that matter. Um, <clears throat> and help you organize some of your stuff. Um, one thing in particular we're going to talk about is how to organize templates. Um, you know, when we're doing leather work, we end up with with a bunch of cardboard templates. I mean, just for just for efficiency's sake, you know, we we really don't want to throw all those out and then have to remake it every single time. Um, I mean, I spend maybe thirty minutes sometimes getting a template right. So. Uh, I don't ever throw them out um, and I organize them. I'll show you how I do that. So typically how it'll go is when I get a leather order, I will, you know, go into my, my leather room and, and get started if I have everything I need to have to, uh, to get it done. <clears throat> I have a little room in my house that doubles as a man cave shop. So when you walk into my leather room, uh, this is what you'll see. And nine times out of 10, it's pretty dirty um, and pretty, uh, you know, pretty unorganized. As you can see, I need to take my trash out. Um, and I have everything I need right here. Um, somewhat organized, it stays a mess. Um, a lot of times I'll have templates and things like that laying over here with some projects that I have going on. Um, and uh, usually there's a template or two laying on my bench. Um, that's one that I'm working on today. But when I come, I have a little, these are hardware organizers. Um, I have a, uh, a little space down there on my bench where I keep this. This is basically a little portable filing cabinet. And when you open it up, this is what you see. Um, and I have all of my holster templates organized by make of gun and I usually do it whether it's inside the waistband or outside the waistband so you see I have you know I have kel car HK um, Heritage is a, a, a revolver um, brand that I do a lot of um, I have some I even have some in here some some drawings and things like that that uh, that I use when I do a little bit of tooling I don't, I'm not a huge um, tool guy but just some sketches and stuff um of when i've when i've tooled a few things uh just a few sketches and things like that i have my knife sheaths i have uh, i get a lot of orders for like little card wallets with like sports on them so you know got some sports drawings and stuff um that way i just don't have to redraw everything retrace everything so um, and that's how I organize all of my templates. So let's say I wanted to do a holster for a Glock 43. Glock 43 taco holster inside the waistband. Um, and sometimes I'll have different, different patterns. You see, that's a different one than what we just looked at Glock 43. Um, if I, if I need to go in there and find what, and this keeps them nice. Um, if I have something with with more than one piece, um, I'll paper clip them together. Um, so I'm done with this particular, sorry, I'm trying to do everything with one hand here. I'm done with this particular one. This is a uh, Smith and Wesson bodyguard pocket holster. Um, I got a video coming out on that pretty soon. You guys stay tuned for it. So if I want to file this one, I don't have a pocket holster, uh, pocket but i do have inside the waistband so i just drop it in there it's there next time i need it close it up put it back under the bench and that's all it that's all she wrote hey guys so i hope that helps somebody um the reason i decided to do this video was um simply because i uh, i've gotten a few um requests lately um to sell people templates um if you uh if you need a template for a certain gun you don't feel like making the template or you really like my design um, give me a call, shoot me a text, hit me up on social media, send me a comment in, in YouTube. 
um, and I'll I'll, um, I'll send you a template out to where you are. Um, I usually only charge like maybe 15 to 20 bucks um, for a template. So if it's something that you struggle with making a template or getting something right, um, give me a call. I'll send you something out and um, you can get started and start cutting out leather. Um, <clears throat> and I really want to do that video for that, for that reason. Um, I struggled keeping everything organized um, for a long time. I'm not a very organized person. Um, so some of this, some of this stuff, these little tricks help me out and I hope they help somebody else out. Um, if you guys want to buy one of those, uh, little portable filing cabinets, I'll link, I'll link to one in, in the description below. Um, also in the description will be, um, a, uh, a link to our social media. Make sure to check that out. Make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe and, uh, y'all stay tuned. I got some more videos coming out very soon.